I wanted to record a quick tip on what the difference between paragraph styles and character styles are because I think a lot of us get that confused, in the beginning anyway. One of the things, as you're going through InDesign, if I select text and I want to apply formatting, we have a couple ways to do that. We can come up here and we can use the, the A for the character stuff and the paragraph icon for the paragraph formatting. We can also open up two panels, the paragraph and the character panel. So those are two different ways to do the same thing, essentially. If you come under type, you'll see those two, character and paragraph. Now, when we want to save formatting and reuse it, we use a style, but there's two kinds. If I come under type, you'll see character styles. Let me open that one up. Come under type, you'll see paragraph styles, same thing. Open both of those up. Paragraph styles, this is kind of cool, but paragraph styles apply formatting to an entire paragraph. Paragraph styles capture formatting from both the paragraph panel and the character panel. Character styles, on the other hand, only apply to whatever you select. So we could select a character, a letter, a word, a paragraph, 10 paragraphs, it doesn't matter, and you can apply a character style to it. A character style only captures formatting found in the character panel or formatting under the A right here. That's it. That's all it captures. So if I select some text here and I go in and do some formatting, I'll change the font size, make it much bigger. That looks great. Not really. Pick a font maybe, do something like that. Go in and change color, etc. If I go to the paragraph formatting and change maybe space after, do some different things like that, do a little bit of alignment, I'm essentially doing paragraph and character formatting. If I go to the paragraph styles panel now and capture the formatting, I can create a new style. If I double click, I can call that something like heading or something to that effect. Click OK and I've got my style. Now if I go to another paragraph, I don't have to select the text. I just click inside the paragraph and to apply that formatting, I simply select the paragraph style name called heading and it applies to the entire paragraph. Note that. Now if I want to do something like this, I want to come to Julian Stetter and I want to apply maybe a little bit of formatting that we'll use throughout to tell people, hey, these are uh, people's names or something to that effect. I can go to the character panel, do something like let's italicize it, for instance, and maybe make the font size a little bigger. That's kind of weird, to be honest, but you can do that. There we go. Maybe even change the color. The color is something that we can change as well as far as formatting is concerned. I'll pick something like a CMYK color, and there's 50 ways to do this, obviously. So I'll choose something like a bluish green. There we go. Now, if I go and if I were to apply it as a paragraph style or capture it as a paragraph style, it would apply to an entire paragraph the next time I try to use it. But if I go to the character style panel and capture that formatting, I can double click to name it, call it name or whatever you want, click OK. If I put my cursor inside of a paragraph now and try and apply a character style, it just won't work. It won't apply to the text around it. If I select right there, like Cologne, and select the character style, it applies it. You'll see, character styles can also be applied within a paragraph that has a paragraph style applied. Kind of crazy. Check it out. You'll see it's going to override the paragraph formatting. So really quick, I just wanted to mention or to talk about the differences between character and paragraph styles, how you capture the formatting, what gets captured, and how you apply them. And there's a lot of other ways to do this, but this is most of the basics.